And right now at six, we start by following that breaking news from Niagara Falls. FBI agents are on the ground tonight investigating a car explosion at the U.S. Canada border. We thank you for sticking with us. I'm Vanessa Rufus and I'm Nick Sturdivant in for Colin Mayfield. There are a lot of things that are still unclear right now, but we want to go over what we do know at this point. First and foremost, within the past 40 minutes, officials gave us an update saying there's no indication of terrorism in this case. Now take a look at your screen. This is new surveillance footage into our newsroom showing the moment the car crashed into the security checkpoint. It happened earlier today on the American side of Rainbow Bridge heading into Canada. Now officials say after it crashed, the car caught fire, then exploded. The two people inside the vehicle were killed again. A lot of information and we're waiting to, to get that right now. And, and although officials say they don't believe this was an act of terrorism, we don't know if the crash was intentional. Yeah, and they say this is a really large scene and um, it's going to take a while to yeah. look into this. We can tell you as well. The feds are working with Canadian officials to try to figure everything out. And of course, we'll keep folks updated at home when we learn new details. Meantime, though, we want to turn to another big story of our day today. That's the forecast, because in just a matter of hours today, we saw a storm move in. We saw it move back out. Here's a time lapse from our camera in the Ballantyne area. Yeah, check out these pictures right here on your screen. While it was here, it dropped some pea sized hell across different corners of our area. You know, again, these are photos from viewers sent from Mooresville. Gastonia, Lake Wiley and Charlotte. And we got some good news and bad news when it comes to the weather. Now the good news, the burn ban has finally been lifted in 30 North Carolina counties thanks to this rain. Yeah, the bad news, I guess you could say that the rain is causing some hiccups at the airport and on the roadways and we are on one of the busiest travel days of the year. So we're going to check in on those fronts in just a few. But first, let's get over to meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. So do we need to prepare for even more rain or, or are we in the clear now? I was going to say I could give you some more good news. No more rain. We're pretty much done with that. So and that's all going to be coming up. All right, thanks, Brittany. Well, the rain earlier today put in a wrinkle in people's travel plans, especially those who are flying in and out. Let's take a quick look at the boards right now. And currently there are 300 delays and good news is no cancellations. This is for both arriving and departing flights. Yeah, we had been watching these numbers pretty closely after yesterday's storm activity and also the rain that we got earlier today. Our Jesse Pierre has been among the crowds at the airport all day. Jesse's joining us live. So how's it looking right now? Live from the airport, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. Jesse, thank you so much. And yeah, as we check in on the roadways, I'll just give folks a fair warning. We are seeing all of those entrances going to Charlotte Douglas on the roadways really backed up. So we're seeing that on Josh Birmingham, Wilkinson and also Little Rock Road. So just a heads up if you are going to the airport. Meantime, major roadways for folks traveling longer distances. We could see surprisingly largely clear. It's actually improved since earlier in the evening when I was checking some of these maps. You can see Main troubles are going to be northbound 77 headed towards the uptown area. We also have some pretty big backups on 85 heading from Mecklenburg County towards Belmont. And we actually got a live look at that stretch right now. This camera is by Sam Wilson Road. And this is actually the scene of an earlier crash from around our four o'clock hour did have some lane blockage. But right now what we're looking at is good old fashioned congestion. Um, so once again, just make sure you're planning extra time. If you're heading through some of these trouble spots that we picked out once again, this 85 stretch we're looking at live crash is clear. But you know, this is a tricky spot any time of day for folks uh, that are commuting from Mecklenburg into Gaston County. Well, meantime, lots of folks who are staying here in the Queen City are enjoying the sights and sounds from the Novant Health Thanksgiving Eve parade. Yeah, folks are gathering right now in Uptown. Thousands are going to be watching along the parade route, including our own Lexi Wilson. We're checking back in with Lexi live and uh, you got to see some new floats and lots of folks. Have you caught the holiday spirit yet? So it should be going on for a little bit more time. Reporting live in Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. And Lexi mentioned the kids, but I guess it doesn't matter because so many people are having a good time. Doesn't matter if you're a kid or not, adult or a kid at heart like yeah, myself. So you can be an adult and holler for fun. <laughs> I'm excited just watching it. All right, thanks, Lexi. Yeah, and there's more parade action to be seen. So we want to remind you at home the annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is starting a half hour early tomorrow morning. And I know you're excited for I that. Am. Well, the parade kicks off at 8:30 a.m. from New York City. Organizers say 
They have so many different acts and floats this year. They needed to start early. Also, pop icon Cher will be performing this year. One of the biggest names to hit the parade besides Santa himself. Again, you can catch the uh, catch that right here on WCNC Charlotte starting at 8. 30. So I'll be tuning in for that and for this because this is one of my favorites as well. After the parade, we've got the National Dog Show at noon. Once again, WCNC Charlotte is where you can watch. We have several North Carolina dogs and even local dogs in that competition. So best of luck to them. And still to come tonight, a surge of success. A new program is working to give minority owned businesses in the energy industry the resources to grow. How these trailblazers are making a difference in our area and setting their sights on the bigger picture. And right now, we want to take a moment to honor our colleagues at WBTV. One year ago today, their meteorologist Jason Myers and pilot Chip Tyag died in a helicopter crash. Officials say the two were flying a training mission when their news helicopter experienced difficulties. Now, you'll remember this Tyag was able to avoid traffic on I-77 instead, crashing on a grassy area on the side of the interstate, saving lives. He was posthumously awarded the CMPD Civilian Medal of Valor. Myers leaves behind a wife and four children. They continue his philanthropy efforts in his honor. So from all of us here at WCNC Charlotte, our hearts are with the Myers and Tyag family, friends and colleagues on this day. A big boost for minority owned businesses within the energy industry. There's a new program giving those owners an edge in an industry that they say can often lack diversity. Yeah, one of the companies in this program has a business model that might have you saying, why didn't someone come up with that sooner? WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden has a story tonight. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte. Brittany Van Voorhees joins us now. And, and Brittany, did I hear 60 degrees tomorrow on Thanksgiving? I mean, pretty comfortable. Lots of sunshine, 60, pretty much exactly where we should be for November 23rd. Forecast is a very low chance of some patchy rain uh, tomorrow. And then we're actually dry and a lot quieter and a lot colder heading into the weekend. All right, Brittany, thank you. In about three minutes, the Hornets coming off a big win over Boston. Can they follow it up tonight at home? We're going to hear from the team next in sports. And as we head to break, we want to remind you about our magical toy drive. WCNC is teaming up with the Salvation Army to make sure every child in our area has something to open under the tree. We are hoping you'll join us to give to our neighbors in need this year. You can donate a new unwrapped toy to any Charlotte area Belk store. There are bins available at each location. If you want to donate money to the cause, you can scan the QR code right there on your screen, which will take you to the donation page. Every dollar helps. So if you are able to give this year, it's truly appreciated. And thank you in advance for making a difference. Well, at one and nine, the Panthers certainly thankful to see this face back on the practice field today. Safety Jeremy Chin is off of injured reserve after missing the last four weeks with a hamstring injury. Getting in the pain and creating for others. Uh, he's got to find that balance of, of being able to create for us, but also create for himself. And I think he's he's uh, learning to do a better job of that. All right, Monday was great, but you got to follow it with a win tonight over the Wizards. <laughs> Washington has two wins this year, two, but one of them was the last time they were in Charlotte. So don't do that thing, Hornets. Don't do that. Thing. You got everybody's hopes up Monday to build off this win over Boston. Got to got our only bright that. spot in the city. Pro sports well, wise pro, for pro the last sports. 48 hours. Right. <laughs> I was at that game, man. Oof, wild Explosive. night. Awesome. Oh, yeah. man, I want to see another win. I want to see another win, too. <laughs> Did we win with the weather? I think so. All Rain right. It's going to clear out for tomorrow. Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. See you back here at 11 o'clock. Download the WCNC app on Roku and Fire TV.